So we're coming to the end of Creativation 2018, so I wanted to share some of the favorite products I saw while I was here um, as some of my top picks of the show. And we're starting with, of course, the Tim Holtz Media Mat My Tonic because this is a mat I think anybody needs in their studio and at a US price of $39.99, why wouldn't you get it? It, you've probably seen the video by now we filmed the video on it but you have your whole working surface as well as the palette the um, craft mat sort of thing and then your palette underneath you've probably seen our video otherwise we'll link to it because I know that this will be a staple in almost every studio one of my favorite paper collections is this practically perfect it is by Cartabella and it is Mary Poppins theme. So you all should know by now my love of Disney, but I like things that are a little bit more subtle Disney. So with the little horses and the tea, <coughs> the London Examiner, and then in the embellishments, you've got her carpet bag and then a little portrait of Mary, her umbrella. And then I also love her stamp set sweet and kind and smart and cheery how cute is that and even this little ephemera path i'll turn it over would be really cute and it has a lot of those same little images from the chipboard now as much as i like mary poppins i love alice in wonderland so when i saw this collection i knew i needed to get it and from everything the little eat me take one little goodies to the frame picture with all the little images Alice here the cards from the sayings to the rabbit to Alice reading under the tree the tea time there's really cute in chipboard accents and the phrases again with the ephemera pack And then down here with the stamps, for me, this is a must-get set. And it's from Echo Park. Another one of my favorite products are these new confetti and sequins and glitter, all from Nuvo. If you do shaker cards, they're the perfect little circles. And this one is hexagons that you can add in there, and they come in a variety of colors. Some of my favorite dyes were here at Lawn Fawn. And I'm going to show you a few. This is the peekaboo backdrop, and I liked how it made sort of the um, cartoon thing or comic that you can make a little scene on your card. Then the Bayou backdrop made this great backdrop, and it had the pieces to have the water and some of the grass and stuff. So that one was really cool. The pivot pop up was fun. It was this card here we had showed you. And it's like, woo! And so you could do anything. We had shown you some samples when we did the Lawn Fawn tour where the whole card was the scene. So that's a really fun way to use a die. And then the last one I'm going to show you is the slide on over semicircles. And it allows you to cut that perfect um, arch for your moving card. So, like this one where the frog goes because to make that yourself would be you wouldn't get that nice clean edge so I just like the way that Lawn Fawn has designed their dies to really work with the card makers so my next pick is actually a two -four. it's products that work together so these are stamps from Carabelle Studio and they're art printing stamps so what they have done is in some of them where there's text like this one you will see that the text to you looks correct. Now typically in a stamp at this point, the text will be backwards. So when you stamp it, it'll be the proper way. But because with this time we are printing, it goes down, my, which is my second pick, which is the gel press printing plates. This is the six inch that these big stamps fit on. They have circle ones that they fit and you can decide where you want to go or you can use them on your large print. So my second part of the of uh, my pick is the gel press and you can see how thick they are and how nice and 
squishy they are, just what you want for your gel printing. So when you use this with your printing, then you'll see when you go to make your print, the numbers are in the way you would read them. So if you were to use a regular rubber stamp, these numbers in printing would be backwards. So they've designed this line especially for art printing. There's a bunch of different designs that will work with your gel press. This is the Small Talk by Tim Holt and it's the snarky edition. And this is everything that you're thinking and because he's put it in a sticker, we're now allowed to say it. So let's see some of these things. Um, I've got it all together, but I forgot where I put it. She could see no good reason to act her age. There was some over here. Um, I need a six month vacation twice a year. I meant to behave, but there were too many other options. There was one I really liked about being a quitter. Oh, this one. I could give up chocolate, but I'm not a quitter. Exactly. My favorite thing to make for dinner is reservations. Or marry someone who can cook. Looks fade, hunger doesn't. And it goes on and on. Not my circus, not my monkeys, my monkeys fly. Do you have to eat the whole bowl of stupid? I miss you like an idiot misses the point. So they're really fun. They come in white as well as black. So snarky small talk. You know you'll be needing more than one of these. Travel journals are really popular at the show and a lot of booths have them, but I really like Diane's dialogue collection. You can see it here. We've done videos with her showing you more, but I just want to point out what I really like personally is the blank one. Because the papers are nice and thick, I'll be able to ink up and do a lot of really neat techniques with it. And it's this thick paper is what's drawing me to her collection, but she also has the agenda and she has already finished pages, ruled, handwriting lines, dots and grids. But, um, the dialogue is another one of my picks. If you're looking for some new storage, you're gonna love the bloom, and I do as one of my picks. See if I can find Look at everything. It will fit, and then you just turn it, and it's closed, and it comes in this white and their teal blue. And you could just sit there all day. How fun is that? I love Chamel's new collection, Box of Crayons, but I just wanted to point out some things you might not realize, that Chamel, like myself, loves Disney. And so she's found a way to incorporate some inspiration for Disney without you really realizing it. So here we have the chameleon, Pascal, from Rapunzel. Up here, you can see Lady and the Tramp, and then this is the little tiki bird. Here we have the tramp again. Here's another little image of the tiki bird and the tramp. And then we have a little mini dot print. So it's a fun way that you can still get that Disney inspiration uh, without being full out Disney papers. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time Videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple other videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.